everyone, it's Alex. I am back grooming today. I have three Yorkies with me. I'm starting on Lily right now, and then I have Hunter all the way to the right, and then their son, Dash, in the middle. Um, I've been grooming these Yorkies for a little bit over a year now. They are big sweethearts, and they just kind of relax and hang out with me in the van. Um, you can see that I don't have any leads on them. I know that they're going to behave. I know that they're all going to be safe on the table with me because I've groomed them before. Um, but make sure that if you're grooming at home or if you're grooming in a different setting, um, just make sure you're always putting a lead on the dog. Um, you know, if they're being a little bit crazy, you don't want anything to happen. It's just a safety precaution. So um, if you're going to be doing that, make sure that you have leads on your dogs. Um, so I'm just going to start out by doing a pre-shave. And I am doing a pre-shave because they are a little bit matted right now. So that just allows me to get all of that dirty matted hair off. Um, if you try to bathe a dog when they're matted with all that hair, what happens is it doesn't get all the way down to the skin. So when you actually groom them, they're going to be greasy and dirty still because you just wash that top part of their coat. You didn't get all the way down to the skin. So if the dog is matted or has really, really long hair and you're shaving it down, I always recommend a pre-shave. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, you're going to finish the groom up after the bath and blow dry anyway. Um, so it's really important to get a majority of that hair off. Plus, it makes drying time a lot shorter as well. Um, you know, we all know that dogs don't necessarily love the drying process, even if they're really good for it. So, you know, the more that we can shorten it up, the better. So we're just going to take all that hair off. All I do is pre-shave a majority of their coat, and then I'll do everything else after the bath. Uh, I'm going to do it to each one of them, and then I usually put them all in the bath together as well. I am taking my Hydra clippers, and I will go ahead and link below my blades. Uh, I use Arturo blades, which I love. They just cut like butter. Um, so make sure you guys are checking the section below because I do always link products that I use or recommend. Um, so make sure that you guys are checking those out. As you're watching this video, make sure you guys are clicking to subscribe, commenting below, anything I can help you with, I am here. Um, so do me a favor, click that button, and we'll talk to you throughout the rest of the video. All right, so now that I have them all pre-shaved and in the tub, I am going to first rinse them down, and then I have my shampoo by Groomers Essentials. It is a gentle puppy shampoo. They are not puppies, but I like to use the shampoo because it smells really good, and since it's for puppies, I don't have to use a separate face shampoo because it's going to be really safe um, for their face and their eyes and everything like that. So. 
I really, really like the shampoo and recommend it. Um, I will go ahead and try to link it below as well. Um, I'm going to just wash them down. I try to rinse them periodically if I'm not grooming them because even though it's not cold in the van, even though the water's not cold, you know, when they're just sitting there wet and they, you know, might start to shake or shiver a little bit. So I just like to warm them up and spray them down and just make sure they're as comfortable as possible while they're in the bath with me. Um, you can see that they're all really good. They don't mind the bath at all. Um, but anything I can do to make make them more comfortable and happy is um, definitely the goal here. We want them to, to have fun in the van with me. So we're just going to fully wash them down, rinse them, dry them off with a towel, and then I will take the Velocity dryer to them as well. Um, they don't have any allergies to shampoos or perfumes or heart conditions, health conditions, anything like that. Again, making sure that you're always asking the client if there's anything that you need to be aware of. Um, but these guys are all totally healthy, nothing to worry about. So that's why it's so easy for me to groom all three of them at once.
I am going to take my K92 Velocity Dryer and I'm going to dry them. Again, kind of switching in between dogs as I go uh, so nobody gets cold and you know nobody's being worked on for too long in a row just to give them a little rest. Um, you can tell that Lily, I'm gonna be periodically petting her head because you can tell that she's the most nervous of all of them. Um, so try to make sure she's comfortable and that's another thing that I really like uh, about grooming several dogs at once if they're nervous because you can give more of a break um, than if it was by by the dog's self. So you can still give them breaks when they're by themselves, but having several dogs at once really allows for more of a break and just kind of making it easier on them. So I'm just gonna slowly dry them, just take my time and dry them up so that they are all set for the grooming process. Uh, it's really important to make sure that your dogs are fully, fully dry before you groom them. You know, a lot of times when I was a new groomer in the mobile van, I, I thought the dogs were dry and then you put them on the table and then they're not dry at all. So, uh, well, not fully dry. So um, you always want to blow dry a little bit longer than you would think um, because if you don't fully dry them, you're not going to get a good haircut. The bath and blow dry is at least a minimum of 50% of the grooming process um, to have that good, good finished haircut and good finished outcome. So it's very, very important that this process is done properly. And, and, and to the finish because we want that haircut to look really, really good. Alright, I have all three cuties on my table, looking all nice and fluffed up, ready for their haircuts. So just hanging out, um, I'm going to, again, I'm going to start with the nails and pads is always what I do first. Just alternating in between dogs, just because that's how I like to do it. Um, you don't have to do that, you can do one, one dog at a time if you really wanted to, and that, that doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to start with their nails and their pads, then do the sanitary areas. And then I will take my 7 Arturo blade and do the haircuts. Um, for the pads, I always use a 30. Um, for the sanitary area, I always use a 10, unless the dog has had issues in the past. Um, sometimes I have to use like a 7 or just use my shears to trim it up if they have a sensitive sanitary area. And really the only way I know that is if the owner tells me or you know if I've groomed them and then after I'm done grooming them, the owner says, you know, this looks a little red. Um, so then I know for going forward that I need to use a little bit of a longer blade. But typically I always do a 10 for the sanitary areas. Um, every single blade that I have is Arturo. Um, and then I'm just going to trim that up one at a time. And we will just continue with the grooming.
Alrighty, uh, I'm sure you guys saw earlier in the video when I um, trim their heads down with my clippers. Uh, so they're getting a seven on their body, which means I'm gonna do a four or a five on their head. A rule of thumb is to always go two lengths up. Um, so that would be a, a four if you're doing a seven on the body. Um, but sometimes if they're getting a really, really tight and neat haircut, I'll, I'll even do a five. Um, so it really just depends. It's your preference, it's the parent, pet parent's preference. Um, but that is a rule of thumb, is go two sizes up. So you can see they're getting happy. They know that they're getting through the process. Um, I just cleared off the table because I shaved them down. So now is when I'm gonna use my shears. So it's important that I cleared that table off so I can see their paws. I can see a little bit better um, for what I'm doing, what I'm looking at. Uh, so there's not big clumps of hair all over the place and in the way. So now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna trim their paws, their tails, their ears, and their heads.
three super cute puppies on my table right now. Um, I went ahead and trimmed them all up and now what I'm doing is my final touches. Um, so I fully groom a dog and then I will take my velocity jar and I'll dry off all that excess hair. And it also, what it does is it shows me anything that I'm, I might have missed. So if I blow them and you know the, the hair on their toes stands up, um, I, it just helped by trimming it rather than them going home playing and then I, I missed it. So it's very important to me that I blow, blow off that hair and show everything so I know that they're getting a perfect haircut. Plus, you know, you put a dog back in the house and then they shake and all that hair comes off and you know, the owners don't like that very much. So we like to get all of that hair off and make them look super cute. So I blew it, blew them off and now I am doing my final touches to make sure they look great to go home. Um, I love that these togs have three different ear styles. I think it is the cutest thing. Um, gives them each their own little personality. You can tell that Dash is falling asleep at the camera, which is just the most adorable thing that happens a lot when I groom several dogs at once. Um, while the other ones are taking a break, they tend to just take a nap with me and it's a very relaxing environment. I think it's fun. I think it's, I think they're happy. They're having a good time. Um, so make sure guys click to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And make sure you're commenting below anything that I can help you guys with. I am here for, um, I'm a very experienced groomer. I've been doing this a long time and I know a lot in the field. So if you have any questions at all, I am more than happy to help. Um, make sure that you're asking me, sending me messages, commenting below, make sure you're checking out those links, all that good stuff. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm just gonna finish trimming them up, get them all in their 4th of July bandanas. Um, it was actually 4th of July day when I took this video. So they are getting ready to celebrate with their family for the day. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.